Hey guys, it's Owl Battle Gamer here, and today I'm on my back deck, and I'm going to show you my, my animal hospital. Don't mind my hair. It's, I was sitting on the couch for a while. Anywho, so this is my animal hospital. It's just a small terrarium it's for lizards and such and bugs. I'm breeding beetles right now. You can see one here. Come here. Come here. Don't be shy. Come on, look at this. A beetle. This is a male. I released a male today. He was a red one. He was ready to fight, so I released him. But he mated, so. Hashtag life goals. Um. So, I have a lizard in here with a broken leg. I have a band on him, on his leg. It kind of works as a cast. He can still move it, but it keeps him kind of stiff. Here, have him bite me. Okay, that got him up. And it doesn't cut off his blood flow, but he has a broken leg. Hey. It's a male. He likes to bite. Oh, this is blurry. Oh, okay. Okay, no, it's not. Likes to bite. Come here. If I can hold this in between my legs. See, like, it's an aggressive little guy. Ow! Ow! Let me go! He's an aggressive little guy. I rescued him from, gosh, my dog park, I think? He's growing back his tail nicely. His broken leg is healing. I don't want to touch that because it'll hurt. He can use it again. I had a splint on it made from like twigs in the aquarium. And this is basically a safe place for them to heal. And I try not, oh, I try not to domesticate them too much because I plan to release them back into the wild. But he is an adult. Hope sadly died. She was one of my permanent members because she was, had no eyes. She was blind. So, I don't know where the other beetles are, but there's also mealworms in here for them to eat. And, come here, Minnie. Oh, oh, mating beetles. Okay, I'm just gonna put the camera down here for a second. I found some mating beetles. Oh boy, fun. Yay, more babies. And it's the same pair. Why? I'm hold. this is a baby, so I'm holding his legs so like this little guy, he was in here, and that male, um, when he first got in here, he was a little aggressive, and he bit her arm. I didn't think it was too serious. I didn't see any cuts right away, and when I did find them, they weren't bleeding too bad, so he has three legs now, but, oh, this is blurry again. Oh, I want to get him blurred. I'm tapping this. Okay, there we go. He has three legs now. It's because of this guy. But, yeah, his arm was turning purple, and I waited I waited a couple days to see if it would turn back to normal. It didn't, and then it started trilling up. That basically means there's no blood in it, so I cut it off. Only the purple part, though, because he, he didn't feel a thing because there wasn't any blood in it. Her, his arm basically died. This is Minnie. And he looks to be already... Let me look at him five months, so he's going to be a small one. Tell it's a male. Look at his neck. Oh my gosh. This thing's so blurry. There's a little bump on it, as you can see. It's kind of like how we have an Adam's apple, only that means something else. It's like, I can't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like how the guys in the human world have the Adam's apple. So... That's Minnie. He's a squirmy little guy. Then here we have the beetles that never stop mating because they're in love. Seriously, this is like the fifth time today I've seen them mating. He won't give her a break. Like, he gets on her, mates, and he gets off. Then he gets on her, then he gets off. And then he gets on her, then he gets off. It's really confusing. So, then there's this little guy. This poor, loveless, 
Lonely male beetle. Oh my gosh, your screen is like so blurry. What the, what the frick? No, never mind. You get the, this poor, loveless little guy. I mean, he tried mating with her, but then the other male saw him and they had a fight. I had to break him up, so. Be free. Be free. I catch them bugs from out in the wild. Well, the, the wild, I mean, like, look at this area, it's not very wild. I swat them, just light enough to sting, to stun the bugs so I can pick them up and then they wake up after a while and they're, like, alive and I release them in the cage. <coughs> Sometimes I hand feed them, though. And I, there you have a water dish there. It just rained, so I might go out and get some more water. <laughs> I do I don't wait until it rains to give them water, though. I'm not that cruel. Well, I'm that cruel towards humans. But, uh, no. So that's their enclosure. So, hello, cam. Some nice, realistic stuff. I'm going to put their Squidward hut back in there. Don't you judge. They like to climb it. Try not to disturb those beetles. Okay. So, and I built them that. Oh, my friend built them that. I helped build it. And it's kind of like, if they get in the sun, it's kind of like a tree for them, in a way. It shows them from rain stuff. Sometimes the sun, but they really like that corner, and they have a rocky background. See, there's mini. See, it's mini, mini, mini. It's obviously. Oh, I'm hitting the phone on the screen. Hey, <laughs> Camouflage in there nicely. Surprisingly, that place stays green. I really gotta stop getting this. It has so many cracks on it. Gonna refill their water dish. And oh my gosh, still this green pebbles. I'm trying to see if there's any mealworm spots because, like, the dirt moves where they're at. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna end the video there now, guys. I'm gonna make another one soon, like in a couple of minutes of me feeding them. And me being painfully bitten while trying to, but oh well. I'm experimenting, seeing what they'll eat and what they won't eat. But I'll be back soon. So yay. Oh yeah, there's Hope's burial site. She was kind of just a female lizard I had in there as first as a pet. And oh look, it's dog with a tumor on her. Giant tumor on her. Oh, now she's pooping on the sidewalk. Lovely. Well, yeah, I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye! Our poor dog. Ooh, brightness.